hi all welcome back to the channel today in this video we are going to learn how we can auto generate test script using code gen and next we are going to learn how we can use slow motion flag to slow down the speed of the execution so let's first see how we can use test generator for uh, generating automatic test script so basically it is like uh, uh, you do not have not have to write directly write the script you just can uh, record and play and uh, something like that and uh, which is available I think in selenium ID if you if you know that and uh, so it's the same thing we can do with uh, playwright code generator it's very powerful I mean it, it gives very nice code uh, and uh, I mean quite with 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 the locators it's it actually takes it's very good because uh, it is not going to give you xpath or css most probably it would give you playwrights inbuilt locator that they are actually uh, creating so let's see how it is generating the code and how well uh, it is and how we can execute it uh, from our id okay so let me open vs code so this is we already have created in our previous video now let me uh, see or show you how we can auto generate this code and uh, for that what you have to do you have to execute one command that is npx uh, playwright code gen and then you need to give the url of the application which you want to uh, open right so for here i mean here i can see uh, they have given one demo application that is demo.playwright.dev so you can try this application this is very good application and it is actually to do a kind of thing where you have you can add what you want to do so let's say i'm adding drink water so that is one to do thing and uh, let's say next i'm going to add like uh, do exercise or, uh, or do exercise something like that okay so this is a to do thing I'm going to add and, uh, and this is the thing and then you can click on the completed button so these are we are doing manually right let's try this with the automation uh, I mean using this um, playwright code gen like let's see uh, how I mean we'll be performing this manually only and behind the scene it will create one automation test script for us okay so let me just copy this complete line and next I'm going to hit here so I think Chrome should be opened yeah and you can see here it actually started recording okay whatever thing I will be going to do it will capture it and it will create in create an automatic script for here so you can see here uh, whatever things happened till now it just created one sample script like page dot go to and it is navigating to the uh, this to this URL right now let me enter something like say drink water so uh, it would just create one script for that and you can see it is doing it and uh, next I'm going to write like uh, do exercise okay it's just capturing it right and do homework something like that and it's actually did these things and next I'm going to let's say um, I just wanted to click on this active button and it also clicked on the active button and then I'm clicked on the completed button okay and there is nothing which is completed right now so that is why it is not showing you so let's copy this code now and let's see if you if we can execute it so for that first what you have to do you have to just pause this record I mean pause this recording even though it is not required you can directly copy and paste it but it's good like you can just click on this record button so that now it is not actually recording anything right and one more thing I uh, not um, I can show you here as well I think it's good uh, because you can actually pick a locator so let me create a different video for that uh, do not complicate it so just first focus on this uh, code generation only so copy this thing from here just click on this button and next you just open your editor 
and create another file in the to do so let me run it as my to do or my to do list dot spec dot ts so you can see it it is generating the locator like get by placeholder so what needs to be done and dot click then it fill the uh, text with this value and then it hit the enter button uh, because we hit enter right so it's actually also capturing that that whatever do thing we are doing like hitting enter so we are pressing enter right so it captured that and then we fill this value and finally we click on this to button like active and completed right now let me close this and now let me see let's see whether we can run it so for that i think we can do like npx playwright test and then let's let's try to execute just this file this my to do list and we can uh, do like this so then we have to go from the to do folder we have to go to my to do list dot spec dot ts so there is just one test so it should execute in all three browsers and uh, what you can do we can actually limit the browsers like executing just only in single browser so you can give like this because we have already learned it in the previous video like how we can execute in single browser so project and that should be chromium and let me give headed as well so that it it opens the browser and let me hit the enter button let's see so you can see running one test in one worker right so it was very fast we cannot see what happened right now we need uh, we need to see it what happened exactly so we have to slow down the execution so for that you just have to go here and just find this use tag where do you get it you will get it under this first find this config which is coming with the constant config and just scroll down and find this use and then you have to give a launch option okay and colon here we need to give slow motion and slow motion uh, should be 1000 I think okay and give a comma see there is no error I think this is correct but still I want to check it yes it's correct only now let's save it and now let me run it once again so what we just did we just just added a one launch option and in that we have added one flag called slow motion and we have given thousand that is thousand milliseconds that means uh, it it would wait till one second for I mean before uh, before doing any action it will just wait for one second so let me increase it to two seconds for now so that we can see properly whether this weight is working or not now let me run it now so you can see it is entering but it is taking time of two seconds before doing uh, the all the things So it completed the execution and also we can try to generate the report as well so that we can see. So you can see it generated the report and if you click on it, you see what is happening, whatever actions we have doing, it is actually uh, showing you everything. 
and this test name is showing as test so that because I think default in the to do my to do list where is that yeah here it is okay so here we can update this name like uh, uh, to do to do list something like that okay so this is how we can auto generate our test script and use it but although uh, this is just uh, I mean you, you may quickly generate your script and uh, now you have to organize this whatever because you cannot write uh, the your script like this but still for small uh, uh, I mean if you have a small script you just have to create one test script uh, to automatically run the uh, test uh, then you can easily do it right so it's very helpful and uh, very powerful as well so one more thing let me show you that I uh, just quit it And let me open also another website let's say let me open google.com oh sorry uh, npx playwright code gen you have to give see google.com is opening yes so you can see it started uh, whatever you can if you write something let's say when you write playwright it will just search it simply if you click on it it open the playwright as well and click on get started click on run test that's it so let me go here now also here Think there are a few things available in the playwright inspector as well so you can actually select uh, which library you want so basically let's say you are going to create a uh, script in Python then you can select PyTest and you can see this automation I mean auto uh, playwright inspector actually changing your um, code to uh, PyTest code or uh, Python variant right also you can update it to the uh, let's see what where you're creating a test for csurf then you can change it like this and it automatically changes the code to csurf code and for us now it's let me ch change it to node.js and test runner uh, so the library thing is this one okay and here it is it, it will clear your test whatever you have written and I think it is more toggle the color mode so you can see uh, you you get option called dark mode dark theme so just click on this mode option it will change to dark mode and the default should be white I mean light mode so and also it is very good thing like uh, you are able to actually quickly see what is the locator let's say I want to see the locator of this note button so you can see uh, it is automatically giving you the locator right so you can simply get it now there is another way to get this locator quickly from this inspector tool that I do I'll be going to show you in the next video so for today this is uh, this is the, uh, that's it for today's video and if you have any questions do let me know thank you for watching